you would have to say just broad overview first of all before we get into the performances these matches are just not good for the tournament not good for the neutral they just don't do enough to capture the imagination uh, Joe I love the game and I owe the game a lot but I've got to agree with you it's uh, it was a pretty turgid game to watch wasn't it the 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 Italians, well, they, they, I, I don't know how Ian Phil sitting next to me here haven't worn the jersey. They just break your heart because every time you think, OK, here's a chance for them to get better, here's a chance for them to prove themselves, they just come out and they just make so many errors, like really basic errors, and so many of them, unforced errors, just dropping the ball without pressure, winning a scrum, number eight takes away, and, and then the next ruck, the next pass off that ruck, mm. it just goes to ground, goes to Neville Nobody, you know, it, it, and there's knock-ons and there's terrible um, uh, offsides and, and, and penalties to give away. A and then they defend so well and then they miss a tackle. It's, yeah. gee, it's, it's, just, uh, it's just frustrating. And, and as you say, Joe, that's, that doesn't do anyone any good. Like England, what do, you, what do you say to England coming out of that? They made a lot of errors and stuff. They, they get nothing out of it as well. It's, it's, it is not good. Rob, I'm not even necessarily advocating relegation promotion discussion here or South Africa come in because uh, a lot of us really like the traditions of this tournament, but we're just at a point where this 20-year experiment with the Italians is going backwards. Yeah, it is, and, and they're giving us... Like, it's, it's, it's tough for us you know, sitting here commenting on this game because you don't want to keep bagging the Italians, but they're giving us nothing to be hopeful about. And, you know, as, as time and time goes on... You look at the fixture lists over the course of a weekend and the Italian game is always a little bit of the dead rubber. Yeah. It, it never is a, is a game that excites you, regardless of who they're playing. And, you know, that's the part of the tournament. We want to make this really great tournament and for it to continue to be the best rugby tournament in the world, we can't have dead rubbers in there. Mm. And unfortunately, at the moment, that's what these games are. Mm. It, it's still the five nations, really, you know, because the sixth nation... Well, they were. Let's 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 be honest. They were competitive. They were they they were, they were winning some games yeah. at, at the turn of the century, you know, up until the early two thousands. But but the last number of years have been really really tough. But you know, even if every two years they sprung a shock, which kind of had been the case. I mean, yeah. and, and there were tricky games and last minute winners, and Ireland had some you know tetchy moments in Rome and a drop goal to to, to win here and there. Just if there was a sense of jeopardy about the Italian games, we could live off once every two years. But at the moment, as Rob said, they're dead rubbers and that's the problem for the tournament. Yeah, and as I spoke, you know, at, at the start of the programme, you know, you, you try and build a foundation which you did feel Kieran was, Kieran Crowley and his coaching staff were doing. You take one step forward, you take three back. So, yeah. Yeah. you know, from being in that position myself, of you know, being in that changing room, it is absolutely, of course, it's, 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 it's deflating and of course it's not good for the tournament. Mm. But when you look back uh, at the, the, just the simplicity of errors, it just compounds everything else that, that you do. Uh, in terms of dr drop balls, simple offsides, it just makes the game impossible. How you try to change that, that attitude or mentality is going to be the, the most difficult thing for any Italian coach to come in and Kieran Crowley is the one at the helm at the moment to try and change that attitude. But, you know, to me, that's not a coaching problem. Like a coaching problem is tactics and, you know, uh, what, what structures are you putting in the field. There's not a structural or tactical problem. They can't, they can't complete passes and they can't, they're not making tackles. So the responsibility, from my point of view, is 90% back on the player on the Italian players here because you've, as Robbie put it out, you've got the non-negotiables. Now, you can't say to Kieran Crowley, say to an international player, by the way, you've got to catch that pass. You know, like... Well, it's impossible to implement any plan. You, you can't. It's exactly what I mean. You, your coaching has, or anyone's coach, coaching has no impact mm. on that uh, unless yeah. it's the psychological part and the mental preparation that, that Ian suggested. But, of course, games like this obviously make the discussion of promotion relegation very real, obviously. Um... Where, where do you go now f for the next game? When, when Italy play Ireland, what is what is going to be the mentality, or you know, how do players pick themselves selves up for that titanic battle going going against Ireland? But if, you know, I 100% agree that games like this, we we find find it difficult during the game to speak about many positive aspects. Mm -hmm. And and England, 
you know, got the job done and, and they'll go away with, with the points in the bag, but they themselves won't be satisfied. And Matt no. talked off air, you know, Italy's or England's performance maybe went down a little bit, you know, just because it was all too easy. Yeah, uh, all the, too the, easy. The, they're still on zero there, you know, 33 points to zero. They had opportunities in the last 10 minutes to take three points. And I know they might go to the quarter and we need to get a try. But a big fat zero beside your country's name at the end of a game is pretty tough viewing. Yeah, mm. very much so.